What's up guys, AC Car Shark back again, back with a Goodwill video again. Um, I haven't taken a trip to the Goodwill in a while, um, at least not that I've actually made a, its own video for. So um, I, I went today just because I was, I, I happened to be in that parking lot, I had a couple other stops to make and uh, I went in and I actually found a couple good things, so I figured I'd share it with you guys. Um, some, some pretty cool things that I was able to come across. Uh, first one up is, uh, is I, well not just a, well the case just came apart, <laughs> not just a PS1 game, it's a pretty, a pretty decent game but one that I would uh, love to have in my collection. I got it for $2.97, uh, that is Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six. Uh, for the PS1, the original game, obviously, uh, the one that started the series off, um, for three bucks. And uh, the case is coming apart a little bit, uh, like the front part comes off, but the disc is in really good shape, the black, uh, the black PS1 disc, and uh, it does come complete with the manual. Uh, I just have to fix the case, apparently, <laughs> or just get another CD case for it. But either way, uh, for three bucks, uh, Rainbow Six is a great addition to a collection. Um, I kept looking, and uh, came across, uh, I have a PS1, um, I just don't have controllers or wires for it. I just got the console for like six bucks at Goodwill one time. So I came across these two, uh, you know, blue and, and a standard color, uh, what I, yeah, PS1 controllers. And I was like, oh, they're probably expensive or whatever. So I was like, I don't have any controllers, but you know, I usually just play my PS1 games on my PS2. So I was like, oh, it's no big deal. And then I saw the price and I was like, I can't leave these behind. Two bucks. Dollar ninety-seven cents for both controllers uh, bundled together for the PS One, uh, and both joysticks feel great. I mean, the, they feel like they're brand new controllers. They, the buttons still click real nice. So I figure if I ever actually set up my PS One to use, maybe on a separate TV or another room, uh, for two bucks, it's a dollar a controller. You can't go wrong. So obviously, someone was trading in some PlayStation One stuff. Uh, and then I kept looking, and uh, I actually came across this guy. Um, as you guys know, I'm not really into plushies, but I am into like action figures and stuff like that, like for my shelves. Um, this guy's a little bit beat up, but you know what? I got it for a couple bucks. It's from the 20th anniversary of Sonic the Hedgehog, and it is a little action figure Sonic the Hedgehog. Complete, you know, his huge head. Um, you know, his, his limbs are a little bit wobbly and stuff, but for a couple bucks, um, you know, you couldn't go wrong. Uh, just to put him up on a shelf somewhere is pretty cool to, to hang on to. Um, but it is, uh, I forget who makes these, but it's officially, the tw it's, it's like in celebration of the 20th anniversary of Sonic the Hedgehog. So I figured for a couple bucks I found this dude, and I was like, I was like, why not? You know, put him up on a shelf somewhere with some other collectibles. It's just kind of cool to, to have that, uh, especially being an anniversary edition collectible. The only thing it would be better if I found it sealed in box or whatever, but I didn't. So, um, and then the last thing I found, I, I went up to, to the, front, uh, the front counter, and they have... Um, more expensive stuff up there. Like they have uh, Skylanders for the 360. Um, it's cheap for what it is. They have it marked $35, uh, brand new sealed. I just don't want to pay 35 bucks when I go to Goodwill. Um, it's, it's a stellar deal. I mean, you go to Walmart three doors down and you're looking at paying like $70, $80 for that same thing sealed. So uh, it's a stellar deal for it, but I just don't want to spend $35 when I go to Goodwill. So I was looking around and uh, they had a GameCube uh, bundle, like a system and a bunch of games, but it was like 80 bucks. I'm like, that's just, it's, it's, it's Goodwill, not a retail store. Like, why are they charging so much money? So, um, but I happened to catch my eye on this next item, which I ended up picking up. Um, and that is Mario Kart Wii. I've never owned this game before. Uh, this is obviously the big box version, uh, which if you look closely, it says it includes the uh, uh, steering wheel for the Wii. So... I looked at it and I was like, can, you know, do me a favor, can I just peek inside the box? I said, can you just take it out from the shelf and let me see if it does come complete with, you know, the wheel and everything. Um, which I'm actually, I peeked inside and it looked like it did. I'm going to try to open this now and see what I can find out. Uh, let's see. No, I'm going to cut right now because I can't get this thing open. So I'm going to, I'm going to slice this thing open. I'll take everything out and then show you what, what comes included in this, in this box and I'll tell you what I paid for it. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, back. Uh, like I said, I was, I, I was able to open the box. I didn't know if that was Goodwill, Goodwill sealing the box or if that was an actual seal. It seems like that was the actual seal on the, on the actual game because uh, I took it out of, the, um, out of the, the, the big box there and there is a copy of Mario Kart Wii and it is still sealed if you can catch a glimpse of the, the wrapper still being on there. Uh, it is a brand new sealed copy of Mario Kart Wii. And then uh, I took it out and the steering wheel is still in there, still in its plastic. Uh, never been used. So it is literally is a brand new copy of Mario Kart Wii. So the, the game and the steering wheel came uh, complete in its original big box here, which is great for, again, display, shelves, uh, collectability. 
and um, I ended up paying six dollars for this. Um, I could not get over that that deal. It's it's just stellar. Um, I mean, brand new sealed copy of Mario Kart Wii, brand new sealed version of the steering wheel for the Wii. Um, that's just an epic find, guys. Epic for for six dollars, uh, which is why I can't get over why they charge six dollars for that and eighty dollars for a GameCube or. Even forty dollars for Skylanders. I understand that's sealed and it's still a brand new game or, or newer game, but like for forty bucks at Goodwill, no one's gonna buy that. No one's going there looking to spend forty dollars on one item. So um, you never know. I may break down and still go back and get Skylanders. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, people like me who are like, oh, I really want to get that. But uh, but you know, like I said, epic deal on this. Uh, six bucks for that. So you can't go wrong. Uh, and then two doors down from there uh, was GameStop, and uh, I actually. Didn't realize I still had about $9 or so credit on a gift card that I had found um, to GameStop. So I was like, well, what am I going to get for 9 bucks?" I was like, oh, whatever. So I go in, see what I can find, right? Um, I was able to actually find two games. Um, and only, I, I think I only paid a dollar towards it. So it ended up being like $10 bucks, um, for the entire purchase. Um, first game up, I already have for the PS3, but again, I'm looking to get it on the 360 because I feel like I'd play it more on that system. Um, that is Battlefield Bad Company 1. Uh, I do already own it somewhere here. I can't find it right now, but uh, I do already own this on the PS3, and um, I started playing it, and then I, for some reason, if it's a multi-platform game, like if it's on both systems, like the uh, 360 and the PS3, I always play the 360 version. I don't know why I, I ever buy multi-platform games for the PS3. I, li I love the exclusives, the God of Wars, Yakuza's, uh, 3D Dot Game Heroes, the Uncharted's. I love the exclusives that they have on the PS3, and I love that system for those exclusives. But anything uh, cross-platform, I, I always play on the 360, so I'm not really sure why I ever bought this on the, on the PS, uh, PS3. So, uh, but anyway, so I picked it up, it was $4.99. Uh, the only thing, the only downside is that they gave it to me used at GameStop in a black case, which as you guys know, does not fly with me. So um, what I need to do is is find an extra 360 case, maybe on one that I'm going to trade in, because uh, Best Buy doesn't care about the, what case you put it in when you trade it in, and then um, that way I can have it in a green case. But that's the only drawback. But game uh, complete, everything, is, is it's all good for five bucks. So I, I picked that one up. Uh, again, Battlefield Bad Company 1, guys, uh, up for trade. If not, I'm going to trade it into Best Buy. Uh, and then the second game I picked up from GameStop tonight has been, been one I've been looking for for probably like eight or nine months. Um, every time GameStop has this, it's always that generic box art. And again, like you guys know, I don't go for the generic box art. I only buy it with the original cover art, the original manual included, and the original like green box on an Xbox game. Um, this game is terrible. Pixel Sandwich I said he played it for like 10 minutes and put it on the shelf, never played it again. Um, I believe it's, it's good for co-op. I want to say it has online multiplayer, so again, Maybe I'll bust it out with him. But I've been looking for this game, and it was just a matter of finding the game. I don't really care if I play it even. I mean, I'm going to play it, but I don't even care if I even bust it out. It's just, it was a matter of that I couldn't find it ever. Um, but that game is Vampire Rain, guys. Vampire Rain for the 360. The epitome of epicness right here, uh, sarcastically speaking. Um, it's supposed to be absolutely terrible. Um, it's on one of the, like, I, I believe it was on, on the Shark and Pixel show back in the day. I believe it was one of Pixel's like, worst ever games. Um... It's just, for five bucks, I'll pick it up. I'll give it a shot. It's just a game I've been wanting for a while. I finally was able to find it, and I just got, I grabbed it while I could. So I used my credit, and I got a game I already have and a game that sucks. So it's not exactly the best trip to GameStop, but uh, like I said, I'm going to play through this game again. I don't believe I ever beat this one on either system. I rented it for the uh, 360 back in the day, but um, I don't know. So I never did that. And then uh, Vampire Rain... What the hell? Why not? You know, it's it's a game to play through for five bucks. You can't beat the price. You know, it was probably sixty when it came out. So, um, so between that, Rainbow Six, the Mario Kart Wii complete for six bucks, the Sonic uh, action figure, the PS One controllers. It was a pretty successful day uh, between GameStop and Goodwill. Um, I'm going to see, I, I'm actually, I just got a new game shelf for the game room, um, sort of like these behind here with the NES games, but it's going to be on the other side of the room for the 360 games, um, Wii, PS2, Xbox, uh, you know, anything DVD case, and uh, I believe DS, PS1, and Dreamcast are all going to fit on there as well. Um, if you guys remember back in the day, I had a really big black shelf behind me in my videos once I moved to this game room. Uh, that thing has long since broken. Uh, the top half started leaning forward and everything started falling off the shelves and everything. So I've been searching for shelves to put together. I found little mini ones, which are pretty damn cool. Uh, so I bought two of those to house the collection, kind of put it like in a corner. So it'll be like kind of like this, like a, in the corner of the room, one shelf here, one shelf here. So it'll be a continuous uh, collection across the corner. 
Um, I'm going to try to put together like a stop motion video for that and see how that works. Um, like a time lapse video and maybe put some music behind it or something as I'm building one of the shelves and then maybe show you when it's done. And um, hopefully that'll be my next video if, that, if that's successful. Um, if not, I believe I have a pretty cool purchase coming up from Best Buy um, in the next week or so. And I'll definitely be, uh, be more than happy to share that with you guys. So uh, something to look forward to in the next week or so. Um, I also uh, figured out how to put an NES emulator onto my PSP Go. Um, so that's kind of fun. I may be doing some capture from that, um, maybe an NES review through that, kind of double double review almost. Uh, so I got some ideas brewing, guys. I know it's been a little bit of time in between videos lately, and uh, I apologize for that. You know, I usually put them out a lot quicker, and but now that flea market season's over and uh, the holidays just passed, obviously, so I kind of pulled back on my eBay spending uh, and my collecting spending. Um, obviously, it's going to be a slower time of year for my videos, so I'm going to start maybe... Uh, getting the game room together so maybe I can do the tour for you guys because that I've been waiting to do that for you. Uh, if not, maybe some reviews. If not, you know, just some different stuff. So, um, you know, just stay tuned, guys. Uh, stick with me. And I appreciate all the new subscribers who just signed on. I just got maybe five or ten more in the last couple days. Not sure where you guys are coming from, but uh, much appreciated. So, uh, welcome to you new guys. Uh, guys from a long time ago, just stick with me. I'm going to probably uh, start booting up some more live shows coming up soon. Um, which I know you guys have been asking for and I miss doing those honestly I miss getting on there and just talking with you guys and doing some gameplay live with you and stuff It's it's a lot of fun. So uh, look for those as soon as this game room gets settled. I'll, I'll definitely start setting those up uh, So lots of stuff coming in 2012 guys. Just stay tuned uh, Leave some comments below leave some love. Let me know what's going on what you think of uh, what's been going on I've noticed a lot of thumbs down on my videos lately and that you know Even though it's only one or two it kind of bothers me a little bit. So uh, just, you know, if, if there's something you want to see me do and I'm not doing it, let me know, guys. Um, so hopefully everyone's doing all right. Till next time, guys, AC Card Shark. Take care.